Hello and welcome back to another update of Arvark's Weird Zoology, a Minecraft 1.20.1 mod that adds in about, I think we're at like 90 animals, into your Minecraft world with a bunch of documentation and is really like my attempt at trying to kind of replicate like a zoo tycoon type experience mixed with like a fossils and archaeology mod type experience in modern Minecraft. Um, I just want to give you guys like a little sneak peek at what I've been working on for the next update, um, which will be for a while, I think, the next major update. So, first off, as you can see, there's a lot of items in the mod, um, and that just kind of happens over time, naturally. And while there was already just enough item documentation, I also wanted to add in um, docu like more documentation beyond that. So if I go to an item, like if I click on snakeskin right here, you can see not only is there the crafting information and the joyizer information, for those who don't know, our mod is built around basically building exhibits that have these joyizer books next to them, that turn, and basically the better an exhibit you build, the happier your animals will be, and the more, and these machines, turn item, uh, turn joy into items. So that's kind of the central gimmick of the mod. Um, but this, these two are already here. But what is new is there's now information on like drops. So killing a mob, if you can grant you those items, as well as like shearing and combing. So combing, combs are kind of like shears, except they don't have a lot of the secondary functions, but they're a little cheaper. Um, and basically, so, yeah, like if I go to shearing, this is sort of like all of the recipes for that. Um, so, it's been one thing that I've been working on. Um, I also have a, there's a lot of other smaller updates that I don't want to show off just yet. Um, but there's going to be a lot of changes to the config. There's going to be a lot of new blocks and a lot of new tools using existing items. Um, I was proud of myself for that. I tried to, I'm trying to limit the number of new materials in this update at all, and it's going to be just using old existing materials, because I think it's nicer to flesh out what you have before you add new things to the plate. Um, but I do have a new mod to showcase, and it is not that Minecraft cat. It is actually the world's smallest cat, the cod cod. So cod cods are native to Southeast Asia, and they're pretty rare animals in the wild. They're very shy. Um, you can see melanism, which is when animals like all black like that, is actually pretty common in real cod cods. So I tried to make that true for these Minecraft cod cods as well. Um, they're gonna they're gonna spawn in bamboo forests, and when you get them happy, when you have them in a nice exhibit, they'll produce um, squirrel tufts for you, which is a type of fur. Um, and yeah, you can breed them with fish, and you'll also find they're not the best bird keepers for a reason. I feel bad for this moorhen. But yeah, it's just good. Yeah, get away from him. But yeah, that's just like a little glimpse of what I've been working on, and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I also thought I'd throw out a small fun fact. This is already something in the mod, but if you didn't know, there's a lot of different colors that Tully monsters can come in. So Tully monsters are this green green animal. But did you know that one of them can talk to you? She says other things too. Nothing that she says is of much value, but it does talk. So that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me point of a certain British um, intellectual. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the next update. Know that it is coming out at some point. The next big update that adds in a lot of new creatures. But I, I've wanted these new creatures to kind of count a bit more. Like it's easy to just add creatures to add creatures, and that's something that I've tried not to do in this mod. I've tried to make sure every creature has some sort of purpose and has some sort of role before it's moved on the table. And at least in this case, this is the first cat that the mod has had. Um, so yeah. Which is true with most of the mods. There isn't a lot of. I've tried to like not do things that other mods have done. 
um, keep everything fairly original. Um, and I hope they'll kind of capture that. And then they've all done a good job of making sure everything feels pretty unique. So I'm gonna let it let you guys go now. But um, yeah, hope you to see you in the next one. And hope you enjoy this update.